there boys and girls, it's Mrs. Burroughs and I'm back again for another daily language review where we're improving our mastery one day at a time. Let's begin. We're going to start by correcting these sentences. The first sentence says, Bamboo Shack is close by. Now I know you've already picked up on the first thing that's wrong. That's right. This sentence does not begin with a capital letter. And so we need to make sure that we have our capital B there. Awesome. And then we noticed that Bamboo Shack is the name of a place. When we write the names of places, boys and girls, we have to write them with a capital letter. So the S in Shack also needs to be capitalized. Now, there's no end mark there, so we need to put in our end mark. Have you figured it out? What type of sentence that is? Because if we know what type of sentence it is, we know just which end mark to use. Let's read the sentence again. Bamboo Shack is close by. That's a statement. You're right. It's a telling sentence. And statements or telling sentences get a full stop or a period at the end. So this sentence looks like this. Bamboo Shack is close by. Let's do number two. Dad works on Bay Street. I know you figured it out already. We need a capital letter to start our sentence. So the D needs to be capitalized. And that's right, you're right again. We need an end mark at the end of the sentence. But something else is going on with this sentence that needs fixing, boys and girls. Think very carefully. Let's read it again. Dad works on Bay Street. Bay Street is the name of a place. And he said the names of people, places, animals, and things have to be capitalized. And so we need to capitalize the B in Bay and the S in Street. Awesome job. Dad works on Bay Street. That's a statement. It's telling me something. When we have statements or telling sentences, we need to put the right end mark in there. Do you know which end mark it is? Excellent. It's a period or a full stop. And so this sentence looks like this. Dad works on Bay Street. Let's move on. Circle the words that rhyme. A rhyming word sounds the same at the end. So let's read our four words. The first word is best. Dump, love, rest. Did you figure out what the rhyming words are? That's right. If you said best and rest, you are correct. Those are rhyming words. They sound the same at the end. Est, best, rest. Number four, write the antonym for sick. Antonyms are words that have opposite meaning. So we're looking for a word that has the opposite meaning of the word sick. Now, when you are sick, you don't feel so well. Well is the antonym. Circle all the nouns. Let's read the words. Say them after me. Ball, pig, read, sing. Number five, circle all the nouns. Can you say the words with me? Ball, pig, read, sing. A noun is a naming word. It tells about a person, a place, an animal, or thing. So let's read the words again and this time we're looking for the nouns. Ball, pig, read, sing. Now a ball is something that you play with. A pig is an animal. Read is something that you do. And sing is something that you do. So, our nouns are ball, a thing, and pig. 
pig, an animal. Circle the word that is spelled correctly. Now I'm looking at these words and there are four words. If I sound them out, they're all going to say the same sound, come. Come is one of our sight words and we know our sight words. Come is spelled C-O-M-E. Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we have for our daily language review. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mrs. Burroughs. See you next time.